This USB drive is broke. Okay, so I've had this USB drive for quite a while. Uh, it's got some documents on that we use for, for work, for my other business. And it's now broken. It's not working. It's not connecting to the PC. The, the, the laptop PC isn't recognizing it. You know, it's not making that delightful chime that it makes when you when you stick it in. So I, I don't really know what's wrong with it, but I'm going to see if I can fix it. Okay, so I'll just show you uh, putting it into the laptop. There we go, silence. And in this PC or my computer, nothing comes up. Wiggling it around also does nothing. Um, so I don't really know. The USB connector does seem a little bit um, does seem a little bit loose. So I'm going to take it back over to the blue mat, take it apart, and see if we can see. In fact, you can see it's slightly coming away there. Um, see if we can see what's wrong with it. Okay, so let's uh, let's try and take it apart. See if we can see what's going on. It was easy. Ah, okay. I think I can see straight away. It's not connected to the board, is it? There you go, you can see it there. It looks like the pads have, uh, have ripped off. Tell you what, let's get it under the microscope and then we can have a proper look at it and see the extent of the damage. Okay, I think we can uh, safely see the problem. That is leg has completely come away that pad and that one and that one that one looks okay so they're all they're all lifted so how am i going to do that i'm gonna have to run jumpers aren't i from i don't know where does that one go i'll tell you what first things first let's take off the usb connector and let's see if we can see what the damage is underneath. Okay, so let's uh, let's add a little bit of flux. Let's see if we can. In fact, I'm probably going to add some leaded solder to this, and then see if I can get it off. This is probably not the right tip to use for this, but right, is it connected on the other side? Let's have a look on the other side. Yeah, I don't really know. Right, I can't get this off with a soldering iron. I'm not entirely sure why, so I'm just going to try hot air and just see if it comes off. There's, there doesn't appear to be anything holding it on now, so I'm not entirely sure whether this is going to work, but let's give it a go. Okay, so that's got it off at least. Um, let's have a look at the uh, at the damage. Uh, plastic's melted a little bit, but it's not the end of the world, right? Okay, so we can see the two pads look like they're still attached there. So let's try and get those off. I'm guessing that's what was holding it in. That must have been pushed through to the other side. Right, let's have a look at the pads or lack of. Right, so we, you can see there we've got three pads missing. 
here, here, and here. Okay, so this one, I think I can probably try run a wire from here to here. Uh, this one appears to go here. So I'm wondering whether I can just run a little tiny wire from there to there. And then this one, in fact, that one goes straight into this, this, is it resistor here? So I could probably just run a jumper from here to here, there to there. Hmm. Right, well, I've never, I've never attempted anything like this before. I've run a couple of jumper wires, I've tried to anyway. Uh, this is, it's probably a little bit more interesting. Okay, I'm going to try and find a way to tape this board down now because it's moving around all over the shop and it's making it really difficult for me. Right, there we go. So I've just put a little bit of captain tape across and that's hopefully going to hold it, hold it in place. So let's start with the... Trying to run a jumper from the resistor here to where this pad should be here. Let's just add a little bit of flux to the resistor. It looks like loads. It's literally the tiniest amount, but it, it looks, just looks loads under the microscope. Okay. Okay, that looks a bit better. Let's try and bend this. I think I need some better uh, tweezers as well. Okay, well I think that's where the leg is going to be, roughly. Just need to get rid of the excess there, don't I? I know this looks massive on the screen, but it's really not. It's absolutely tiny. Okay, well, I, I don't know whether that's going to work, but it appears to be on and it appears to be going to the right place. So, okay, let's try and run one from here. I think it's safe to say that neither of those two worked because this one has um, this one has come off and I've lost the bit that scraped away there. All right, so this one goes from here into this leg, and that leg goes to that one. I wonder if I can just run them from there and there. Whether that would be easier? Would that be easier? I don't I don't know but I think I'll try that All right so let's try and solder two on Well, I think that one's on. Okay, let's try and do the one next to it. Wow. I think they're on. 
how strong they are. I'm not sure. Right, let's turn it around and try and route them to where they need to go. Okay, so this one needs to go All right, this one's going to be fun. So that has to miss that one. It also has to miss the. Tr oh no, it can go to that past that track, can't it? Because that was. In fact, how am I going to do this? Right, I'm just going to see if I can get that attached there just to give it a little bit more strength and stop it from moving I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to but by Jove I think that has it right let's try and cut off this excess So we've got this pad here going to this resistor here so that is hopefully okay this one we've got going around here down into this the leg of this chip here which doesn't look like it's touching that one and then we've got this one going down here need to make sure it misses that yeah and then into that leg there so my solder mask arrived this morning, so I think this is an ideal opportunity to put some solder mask on. Try and get those down in place to stop them from moving around. And then come back to it and see if we can get that USB port back on. Right, I've never used solder mask before, so I've seen other people use it. I've seen Vince use it, for example. Um... I don't really know. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, isn't it? Um, I'm probably going to put it on with my tweezers. Oops. Let's try and spread that around before it makes a complete mess. I suppose it really matters if it covers other components and stuff. It is just a mask after all, but I don't want it covering any of the Contacts, obviously. All right, let's try a bit on this. All right, I think uh, lesson learnt there. You don't need a lot of solder mask on something so tiny. So I will be using tweezers probably to apply that in future. Now I know it cures by UV light, but I just don't know how long you're supposed to leave it um, can I just pop that over it and just come back to it maybe yeah let's do that okay let's see how we're getting on with that now okay that looks good that looks like it's uh, hardened Yeah, it's given them a lot more rigidity. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now for the fun part. Let's see if we can get the, uh, <laughs> the USB connector back on and soldered to these little jumper wires. So how am I going to do this? Yeah, all I'm worried about is that it's not going to be very strong. So when I put it in, I don't want it to break. Now this... It looks like we do still have a bit of a leg left here. I'm guessing the rest of it has snapped off, but on this part here, which, so there, which would go through, uh, where are we? Would go through here. So I'm going to try and remove this solder here just to expose the hole so that that fits through, and then I should be able to solder it on the other side. 
Um, I, yeah, I'm guessing they snapped either when I was trying to take it off or whether it when it was damaged in the first place. Um, all right, well, let's try and do that first. You know, taping the board back down again. I really do need a clamp. If anyone can recommend something, I don't know, some a little um, little board clamp of some description that I can just use under this microscope. I don't know whether you can get them. I'll, I'll have a look, but if anyone can recommend one, that'd be great. Uh, right, how am I going to do this? Let's let's try let's try wicking that off. Okay, let's try and push that through. Right, there we go. And that's through. What I'll try and do now is just solder on the one pad that is good and then flip it over and try and do it. Right, let's try and flip it over. See if we can get that. I don't know, is it a ground pin or whatever it is, the, the leg part. Let's fill that with solder and see if it gives it some strength. Here. Yeah, that's worked. That's given it a little bit of strength. Right now I just need to worry about getting Right, this big gloopy um, <laughs> solder mask bit here has, uh, has kind of failed. I'm guessing I put too much on and not in the right places. So, these have now moved. Do you know what? I'm going to take this opportunity to move that one. Might as well take that off. Yeah, look at the state of that. So it's set on the top, but it's not set underneath. It's still all still all gloopy under there. So I can put the the light back on. Yeah, let's do that. In fact, I'm, while I'm here, I'm, I'm just going to try and just tack that on very quickly, and then it shouldn't move then. I can get this wire over the top here all will become clear in a second hopefully right I'm gonna do the same with that I'm just gonna try and quickly just tack it on right I know it's a mess but I'm gonna put the Ultraviolet light back on this, try and make that solidify. Right, I think that's uh, that's set now. So, what I also need to do is just get this, this one connected to this leg here. But this leg is quite, uh, it's quite bent. Am I going to be able to do that? Yes. Okay, let's try and solder that on there. Right, do you know what? I know it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> Far from it, in fact, but that's connected, that's connected, that's connected. And even though I've just accidentally put a big blob of solder there on top of that solder mask, who cares? Because that one is does appear to be connected as well. What I'll do is I'll just check for continuity, make sure they're going where they should be. So let's check this one first. So we should be going from here to here, and we do. This one should be going... In fact, I can't check it because I've got solder mask all over it now. But it is, you can see it's going to, 
Hi, there we go. And then this one should be going to this one. Oh, my. Let's get on it. There. To there. And yes, it is. Right, well, I think that's all on. Uh, like I say, it looks a complete mess. There we go. Welcome to the horror show. But as far as I know, everything is going where it should be now. I mean, it looks horrific, but all I want to do is get the files off it, to be perfectly honest. So, let's plug it into the computer and let's see if it recognises it. Am I hopeful? Uh, a little bit, actually, but <laughs> let's see. Okay, so what do we think? Should we give it a go? <laughs> what a noise! I love it! Oh my god, it works! Okay, I like I say, I was hopeful that that would work, but I think there was still something in the back of my mind because it was such a mess that it wouldn't work. Oh, this is superb, right? Um, I'm hoping you can see that, that it has come up. Obviously, you heard the noise. So let's take it out. Yes, let's pop it back in. Excellent. Right, I'm going to um, back up those files before I lose it uh, completely. Excellent. The job is done. Absolutely made up with that. That's superb so there it is i mean it is a it's a complete mess but you know it's um it worked so i'll take that so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching apologies for the face and i'll see you on the next one